Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartz, Walled In with Sports. It's Wednesday, so that means Puck Talk here on News 13. Joining me in the studio today, Nanook sophomore Tyler Morley. Tyler, how are you doing? Doing good, Jamie. All right, thanks for coming down. Well, uh, first question, can you tell everyone where you're from and some of your first memories playing hockey? Yeah, I'm from Burnaby, British Columbia, which is in Canada there. And uh, some of my favorite memories are obviously as a kid growing up, going to the rink early mornings, and, and also on uh, Pro D days. Having the day off, you go to the rink with all your buddies and playing shitty hockey for six, seven hours at a time. Oh man, that's cool. Uh, Burnaby, is that is that far enough north where you guys have pond hockey, or does it freeze out there? Mm, no, I mean we can go up onto the mountains, like the local mountains, if we wanted to, or we'd go up to the interior. Like my auntie had a cabin one time and played pond hockey up there. Nice. But uh, yeah, my experience on the outdoor rinks are obviously here in Fairbanks. Yeah. I've seen quite a few players come through the Nanak program, and I have to say you lay your body on the line as much as anyone I've seen. How did you develop that style of play? <laughs> uh, when I was younger, I was probably the smallest kid in tryouts, and my dad said, hit anything that moves and hit it to kill it. So, I mean, first tryout, I think I hit everything that moved, and then the next day he told me, okay, now there's a puck on the ice, hit the guys with the puck. So that's how I had to start <laughs> there and just kind of, that's how my game had to evolve. I had to just hit everything because I wasn't going to make it as a skilled guy being so small. It, uh, your brother Brandon is a freshman this season with the Nanix. I realize you two played a couple of seasons of junior together in Surrey. But when was the first time you guys teamed together competitively? Did that, that start as a young age? Uh, yeah, we'd always like get into it when we were younger, obviously being brothers and us being super competitive. I think you could see us on the ice the way we play. So, uh, but we weren't too bad growing up. Like I was a little older, and I'm three years older than him and stuff. So. But we, he would always try to compete with us, and we'd do little small games, but it wasn't anything too too serious. When, when he scored that first goal of his Nanak career earlier this season, uh, how'd that feel for you, and what did you tell him afterwards? Yeah, I was pretty proud of him. Um, it's obviously a great accomplishment. I mean, to, for any kid to play Division One hockey is one thing, and to put a puck in the net like the way he did is another good thing. So I know our parents are proud at home watching. It was a good feeling for them to finally get that monkey off his back. Yeah, um, I call it knee hockey, you call it mini sticks, but what were the knee hockey or mini <laughs> stick games like between you two growing up in the house? Uh, we we played it, but more like if it was just me and him playing, he'd put on the goalie gear. He always wanted to be the goalie. I'd shoot on him, but we had two best friends growing up where one was my age, one was his age. So we'd always play two on two, like the older guys versus younger guys, and that'd get pretty intense playing growing up with two brothers going at it. I can imagine. Um, Back to now playing with the full length sticks. 21 points in 37 games last season as a freshman. You're at nearly a point a game as a sophomore with 11 through 12. Uh, what did you focus on during the off season to prepare you for this season? I tried to just come in each game, focus more on specific things, like kind of take games and look at what I've done in previous games and try to focus and see where I made mistakes and try not to make mistakes. Um, just trying to like grow up more and hockey's more of a think thinking mental game. I'm starting to realize as I grow older, so. Just trying to do that every game and come in prepared mentally and you know, take each game at a time. Like don't work, don't look in the future. Just worry about one week at a time. Absolutely. Uh, the next first three series of WCHA play came against familiar opponents as all three were former CCHA team. You got Michigan Tech coming in this weekend. That's the, kind of the first traditional WCHA team you guys will be facing. Are you looking forward to playing against a, kind of an unknown team? Yeah, it's always good to play new teams, like get some new blood and start some new rivalries. Um, it's a new league, so everyone's still kind of getting used to each other. Obviously, our last three series, we knew what we were playing against. So, But yeah, playing these guys, um, they've been up. They were in Anchorage last weekend, so they're up here all week. So they're going to be rested and ready to go, I think, this weekend. So it'll be a fun contest. Does the team, we got Thanksgiving coming up. Does the team any, do anything? I realize you guys are practicing, preparing for the game. But do you get, will there be any team activities for to celebrate Thanksgiving on Thursday? Uh, I don't. I haven't heard of anything yet. Um, I know last year we were down in. I think we we're in Northern Michigan, so that was kind of cool. We had a nice Thanksgiving dinner with all the guys down there and everything. So um, we haven't really set anything in stone yet, but we'll see what happens. Sure. You guys started off the season uh, playing pretty, pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, you've lost four of your last five. What do you think the key is to getting back on track for the Alaska Annex? I think we just got to keep working hard. Um, we're obviously a really young team, but uh, I think our starts have been the one that thing that's been hurting us. Um, been down three nothing, and then both nights down there, and we came back, and we've done it against uh, Mercyhurst. We were down and came back in those series. So, I think if we can start the way we finish, <coughs> I think we'll be a very good team, and we'll take care of this uh, WCHA. Sorry about that little no cop <laughs> there. Well, I'm looking forward to the Thanks, weekend, Jamie. and uh, we'll see you guys play, and look forward to get back on track. 
That's going to wrap it up in sports for today. We are getting ahead of here, but you need to stay tuned because Zach Rover is coming up next with your extended seven-day weather forecast. So for Tyler Morley, I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.